Hey friends, today we are going to be doing a little Disney prop and Disney art shopping. We're going to be looking at iconic pieces from the parks, windows from Main Street USA and Walt Disney World, some Disneyland items, and also some unbelievably rare pieces of art from Snow White that's actually signed by the animators and even some with Walt Disney. This stuff is priceless and super rare and uh, we're going to get the chance to buy some and show you guys. Any who's let's go do this I am here at the Lakeland Antique Mall in Lakeland Florida and everything that you're gonna see is actually for sale so if you're interested in buying anything I'll put all the information below and you can call them and get prices I'll try to show you all the prices and any information that you may need and uh, yeah it's gonna be fun the first thing I want to show you guys is some super rare original artwork from the Snow White film, the original Snow White film. And I can't even believe this stuff is here. This should be in the Disney Museum. Some of it's signed by Walt himself and the animators. Everything from study to completed cells. And I'm just like, wow, this stuff is amazing. This is where some of the original Snow White artwork is at, actually tons of it and I'm gonna show you a couple of pieces the Cavassier family pieces and then this one right over here is a completely finished cell from Snow White with Walt Disney's autograph on there I don't know if you can see it too well it says best wishes Walt Disney and this is selling for upwards of twenty seven thousand dollars but come on that's that's a <laughs> that's a piece of like history right there I talked to the owner of the booth and he gave me a good rundown, a lot of history of these pieces. And it's gonna actually change this booth as they're gonna keep on rotating out some iconic pieces. So we're gonna be here covering it. Right now they're focusing all on Snow White. So this is all about Snow White. And then they're gonna do things like Winnie the Pooh because he has hundreds and thousands of original Disney artwork. And I feel like that's like, that's amazing. You can see they have everything from studies to production pieces to completed cells that were used in the film itself. Here are a couple of studies. Now these were before they were finalized. So these are just like basically like concept. And here's a couple of the animals, the doors. And then right down here you have Snow White. And this is right before, this is the finalized. So they would send this in to get colored. And I think that's so amazing. It has all the details on it. And the animators autographed and signed it. And all the pieces actually range from $2,400 for Snow White to $1,300 to $1,400. And you'll see, we're gonna actually progress from study production to completed cells. And it's mind blowing to see a movie come alive right here. I know there's a lot of villains out there and here is the evil queen right there look at that thirty six hundred dollars well almost thirty seven hundred dollars but look at actually down here oh I love it this stuff is so miraculous and it's actually stamped right there I love it Something that really, really blew my mind is they have an original deleted scene from Snow White. So now we have bonus features where we can watch the deleted scenes. But before that, this is in the 1930s, all they had was completed artwork that never made the movie. And there's a deleted scene from Snow White here. I can't even believe that. Right here is an original storyboard layout for a deleted scene with Sneezy. This never made the movie, but it's all completed. Look at it, it actually even has like the uh, production, like the storyboard. It has the writing on there of what was gonna be said. And I think this is so amazing. This is one of the coolest. This is a vintage deleted scene and it's selling for uh, about $2,400. You can't, you, like, you can't find things like this. Now I'm gonna show you guys some finished product of the movie Snow White. These are our finished cells from the movie itself from the Cavassier family. If you're not sure what the Cavassier family is, is it's an art gallery that Walt actually commissioned for them to actually deal the original artwork. So these pieces were given to the Cavassier family from Walt Disney and they're here now. Like, this is it. Look at how cool this is. These are all from the movie itself. They're a little bit more expensive because these are artwork from the movie. You can see the Evil Queen right here is just about 7,000. This one over here, wow, look at the framing on this. That is just a 
a, a piece of history right here. That one's just about 1300. They have a couple other small things like here is Bashful, $75. And I'm just like kind of shocked, you know? They also have a lot of like uh, promotional stuff for Snow White. Look at this gigantically like framed promotional shot for the movie. Wow, I absolutely love this. And you can see this has to do with the Snow White uh, jingle book right here. And this is selling for just around $9,000. But this is old, this is stuff from the 1930s. And then you have a couple more promotional like store display things. Here's some old King Cole set. And this is uh, just around $27,000. And you actually get all of the seven doors. You get Snow White. And then you also get some of the cottages down here. This is super rare and it's hard to keep because it's like paper mache. So this stuff actually deteriorates very quickly. There are massive amounts of artwork in here. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pieces, but I mean, it is like, honestly, right here in this booth alone, I would say there's at least 100 original art pieces from the movie, like itself. But a couple of these, like, I just really think are special. Right here is a six piece layout of the queen actually transforming into the hag. And take a look at this. This is just about $6,000. You get all six pieces. You can see the queen right here. I know sometimes it's really hard to see. And then she drinks her potion and all this happens. Lightning and then and then a big swipe. And then all of a sudden the queen falls down. How amazing is that? Like I think that is so cool and unique and you get all six of these for six thousand dollars and like you're telling snow white like this is telling snow white here are a couple concept pieces this is really cool because you can see how different the uh dwarves actually change this one makes them look like lawn gnomes don't isn't it like it, they look like lawn gnomes that's doc and this one's 1395 take a look at the huntsman though honestly I love this huntsman because it looks so scary. And there's another huntsman over here. I don't know if I showed it, but he has a knife. This one is $15.95. And then here's the other huntsman over here I want to show you. I don't think I showed it too good because it was up high. But look at this one for just around $4,000. And that's completed colored in. That is so cool. A couple of other cool Snow White pieces just to actually go with the theming of the booth here. Now, like I said, they're going to switch up this booth. I feel like a lot of this stuff is going to sell pretty quickly because it, it is really one of a kind pieces. And they, I like how they keep everything Snow White themed. And they're going to switch it up and do other Disney classics. He, he has things from Winnie the Pooh, like I said. And just, it's going to be great to see what's to come. So we're going to be checking them out as they actually switch out. So I hope you guys look forward to more videos. But now I want to show you some just regular other snow white things first things first how about the window display from main street usa at walt disney world for snow white and look at this this is actually moving in here oh you can hear things like rumbling around in there i think this is amazing these things cost eighty thousand dollars to make and it's just absolutely priceless this was on main street usa in walt disney world and it comes with a nice little porcelain snow white and the trees which honestly were probably the scariest part of the film and I just I just can't believe this is here it comes with glass in front but we took it off so we can show you more detail like the fact that they added a little mirror back here to add to the illusion that the forest just goes on and on and I love it this is one of the fav this is like my favorite window display I think I've seen yet here are a couple of the seven dwarves heads and these were made by the disneyland prop department look at how cool this is and i love how they're on a stand i would absolutely love to have one of these like just to be able to say that i have it that is so cool look at that it's like almost tears coming down his eyes these are two thousand dollars a piece but i love it it is so cool and realistic looking this is an animation that they made off oh i'm touching the beard oh <laughs> It kind of makes me really excited. And then over here we have a nice book signed by Mark Davis. Look at that. Here's a couple of other strange oddball items. Take a look at the ventriloquist Dopey right here. And the funny thing is, is Dopey doesn't even talk in the movie. So like why would they need to make a ventriloquist doll for it? Look at that. So crazy. And that is uh, just around $900. And like I said, they have tons of different figurines. Look at that Snow White right there kind of a little scary actually 
let me know in the comments what your favorite artwork was. I would probably say my favorite is the Snow White with Walt Disney signature or uh, actually the storyboard here of the queen actually transforming. I know it's not like that expensive, but that is so cool. Oh, and also the deleted scene one. Those three are my absolute favorite and I would be so happy to have that in my collection. I think they're just like, they're amazing. They really are amazing. Just to give you another glimpse before we move along of how much artwork is actually here. This is everything kind of as I just like pan through it. Like I said, there are so many pieces and it's just, it's unbelievable. Like I said, this is Snow White being told on the walls right here. This is the actual film and I love it. Now I want to kind of browse around and show you a lot more items. I focused a lot on that art gallery or the art corner because I think it was so amazing. Like I, that was some of the coolest things I think I've ever seen here. But there's a lot of other boots that we still haven't gotten to yet. And lots more cool Disney things and just general fun antiques. This whole entire back corner here is full of amazing Disney antiques and Disney collectibles, props, and things from inside the parks. Look at, it's almost endless. You can just see tons of things. This is something that really caught my eye, a Beauty and the Beast fireplace, but it's actually replaced with a TV in the middle there. This is so huge. Wow, look at this. This must have been in maybe one of the resorts where like kids would sit down while you're checking in and watch like a movie. That is unbelievable though. Look at the detail, it's massive. I don't even know how anybody would ever move this. Like, oh, well, it's pretty solid too. I really, really like it. Look at this really cool turret display here. And I think it was holding for a TV down here, but take a look at this, it actually spins. So like if you plug this in, it would spin. You can go Walt Disney World, Disneyland, or you could put something blank in there. And this is $600, but it's massive. It's taller than me. And then also take a look at the Disneyland Mickey Worldwide Kids Party. It says Canada there. This is $395. And then of course, I always wanna show the Dalmatian puppies. These are actual prop puppies from 102 Dalmatians. They couldn't you know, have 102 Dalmatians, so they made little props that they had in the background. They're so life looking, right? These are about $6,000 a piece, but I absolutely love it. Cause you know, I love Dalmatians. Take a look inside the glass cases here. We got a lot of Club 33 items. Take a look at this. This is a Club 33 ornament. That's $195 and just look how fancy the presentation is. We've got some napkins and some plates back here. I love this Walt Disney World security guard patch. $95, that would go good with my uh, security badge itself. I love the stuff that they keep in the glass. Ooh, first edition Krakatoa. That is really awesome. And just amazing items overall. I mean, honestly, you go through here and when things are locked up, oh yeah, in the back there, that's an original Mary Blair. And that Mary Blair itself is the inspiration for the movie Up. Like the actual live action, this is a Mary Blair. I think that's so amazing. A couple of cool posters I see here. Take a look at this Disneyland one. It's got New Orleans Square. Ooh, it even has uh, the uh, Br'er, Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox, and then Main Street USA. These are really awesome. I don't see a price for that there. And then also, I love this one right here. Safety's the ward. Make it your ward every day. And then look, it's Goofy and Max. I can't even believe it. I never see Goofy and Max together. I think this is so cool. It's only $95. I love it. I love how you can just walk around and stumble on something that is really, really cool. And I think this is awesome because this is an extinct, ex like an extinct attraction right here. The Richard Petty driving experience at Walt Disney World. This is an actual suit from the attraction. Look at that. So awesome and it's $595. So before, uh, a long time ago, before Magic Kingdom had that huge parking lot, they used to have an, a NASCAR like racing experience where you can come race an actual NASCAR here at Walt Disney World. Isn't that so cool? And it's gone now and here is the suit from there and it says at Walt Disney World. Here are a couple of cool furniture items. It looks like a bench from Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. 
Look at that. This was actually in Epcot. Used as decoration, $899. It's probably very fragile. A couple of chairs from Disney's Contemporary Resort and has a little picture of where it was actually in the, uh, the room. So this is from Bay Lake. And then over here, look at this desk. I love this desk because you can see some of your favorite characters on here. I can see, I think that's Minnie, that's Mickey. This has to be the, the goof right here. I'm not too sure how much this desk is, but I don't see a price. I love it though, look at it. It's in really good shape. And then one of these fancy Mickey lamps from uh, Yacht Club. Look at that. And it shows you exactly where it was at, $295. A couple of other cool things that they're offering right now is a special sale on um, one of the boots and it's like a Christmas in July sale and I'm going to show you some of those things and it's actually a very good deal. You can see the Christmas in July sale they have the Mickey tables right here. I actually own one of these tables because I just love the Mickey on it and these are only a hundred dollars and you get the whole table and it's it's a sturdy table it comes apart so it's easy to move and I love it only a hundred bucks that's a good deal. And then we got a couple of hidden Mickey chairs for the Christmas in July. These are $55. And look, these are all Mickeys in the background there. Everything's all Mickeys. And I think these are from Vero Beach. That is really, really cool. I also like this sign right here. Come meet your favorite Disney characters from the Walt Disney World Resort. Goofy, Minnie, and Mickey. It's got Mickey balloons too. That is so awesome. Not only do they have Disney items, but they also have Universal Studio items here too. And a lot of Halloween Horror Nights things. And I think that's really cool. You can see they have a lot of different props and different like scary items. I think these are the scarecrows from uh, the uh, Halloween season last year. Look at that. That is really awesome. Ooh, and then over here, they have a Universal Studios prop from the Chocolate Emporium. Like, when do you find that? $196, and that's from the chocolate, it says Chocolate Emporium right there. A nice tribute store sign that shows that they're doing a special signing. The wax o -matic machine. This is from the uh, Christmas tribute store for uh, the holidays there. That is $299, that's really awesome though. Like, I like that they have a big variety of things. Different Halloween Horror Night mugs and cups, and then pumpkins, oh, some of these are Disney pumpkins. I like when you find just old like toys and lunch boxes. Look at this very vintage ET lunch box here. Ooh, and then look at the Mickey too. This stuff is really cool and it's stuff that I like to come across and it'd be cool to find that like in a yard sale. And then down here we have, oh, look at Big Al. Oh wow, I love this. It's only $30. That is so cool. And you got Br'er Bear in the back there. These are really awesome items. I could walk around here for hours looking at stuff, but like it's, it's endless. This place is massive, so many different vendors, and it's not just Disney and props, and it's just everything, Coca-Cola, Looney Tunes. There's a Looney Tunes stand up here. Look at all these Looney Tune collectibles. My mom likes Looney Tunes. I mean, I feel like they go hand in hand. Disney, Looney Tunes, but I mean, there's a big, big difference. But still, it's nice to show off some other stuff in here, like a Sylvester soap dispenser. <laughs> a Sylvester soap dispenser. And then even over here, we have some really cool items. The Cinderella Celebration, new magic from Tokyo Disneyland. Like that is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything from Tokyo Disneyland before. And just tons of things that you can just look at and admire. These are from the All-Star Movie Resort. And then, oh, there's another booth right here too. Ooh, what is that Mickey? Gotta take a peek see here. What do we got going on over here? Disney's extremely rare 25th anniversary Sorcerer of Mickey plexiglass sign. Oh, it's huge. I see the 25 symbol. Wow. This thing is gigantic. It's $8,000 and actually covers everything over here, but it's so cool. I also really love things from the circus too. And they have a really cool collection of items that are kind of unique. And I want to show you some of these as well. I feel like this is a very old merry-go-round like cart. Look at how old this is. Wow, I love this. That is so cool. I don't know what the price is. Also, take a look at that hotel sign over there. And then the Ringling Bros and Bartum and Bailey combined shows. Look at that. That is a cool sign. 
so many nifty things. <laughs> oh, it, is that like an actual like banner? Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Oh, I want to like touch it, but I don't want to touch it. I wonder how much this is. Almost $14,000. But look at that, two-headed baby. Born in real London, England. Any who's, I think I'm all done here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. I'm actually walking out with one of my cool safety signs that I wanted to get with Max and Goofy on it. I wish I can get some of the Snow White art. It is a little bit expensive and it's hard to add to my collection right now, but I would if I had the money because that stuff is amazing. Like the original Snow White art, like, that's like top of the line. Anywho, if you have any questions about anything you see in here, if you want to buy something, they can take purchases over the phone or you can actually get the prices of things or more information about it. I'll put all the information for the Lakeland Antique Mall. The only thing is they don't ship, so you have to come pick it up or hire a third party, but still just the opportunity to get some of these things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.